Is there a softer side to restoration? Find out on this episode of Restoration Renegades. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is my journey. Behind the scenes of professional restoration like you've never seen it before. We'll see homes and businesses go from flooded places to new spaces as we follow the best restoration crews in the country and see how they tackle the big, the bad, and the ugly. Now, I never know where I'm going to be from one day to the next, but one thing's for sure, it'll be anything but ordinary. Today, we're in a boring office. I mean, there's no fire damage, there's no flood damage, and it smells pretty good. Not normal, not for restoration. <laughs> and in fact, where we are is in the office of an insurance agent. I know, stiff, boring, but this insurance agent says that he's the ultimate restoration renegade. <laughs> and here he is. Okay, I'm just playing with you, Grant, but you call yourself the ultimate restoration renegade, but you're wearing a really starchy shirt. You've got collar stays and no hard hat. So what's up? Ah, uh, Jeremy, everybody has a joke about the insurance agent, right? don't, don't they? <laughs> well, guess what? Before you guys show up in your hard hats and your muscle shirts to fix the job, I'm a first responder. Our clients call us when they have a serious problem, when a place floods, there's fire damage, and they don't know what to do. They call their insurance agent. So you say that you're the first guy to get the phone call before anybody goes out on the job. Absolutely. Hmm. Um, it's our responsibility to make sure we can recommend service providers who really know how to fix the problem. Right. So give me an example of that. True story, Jeremy. I'm drinking my coffee at 7 a.m. and I get a call from a client, a surgery center. They just went to open the facilities and the whole place was flooded. It was like the Amazon River rerouted through their office. <laughs> right. And we were dealing with a with two crises at once. Right. We had the issue where the patients could no longer ha have their serious medical need cared for. So that was an emotional issue. And then the business was losing money every day that they couldn't see those patients and perform those services. My job was to quickly get on the phone and call some great restoration contractors who could get out there and take care of the problem right away. Wow. So you're making me rethink here because since you are the first responder, you kind of are the first guy. I mean, you are the ultimate restoration renegade. Folks, I'm, I'm convinced. I think he is the ultimate restoration renegade because in many cases, he is the first responder to help you get the right restoration company out to your business or to your home. So if I don't see you in another boring office like this one, sorry, I hope to see you on Restoration Renegades. Fly that thought away.